Red Voyage News, Splash in the check-in. Thank you for tuning in. I have an article right here brought to you by Fox16.com from Arkansas. This man was arrested. A cop was arrested for letting inmates buy beer and cigarettes. Now, the beer is one thing, all right? You know, you let inmates buy beer, and they come back to the facility drunk, and they're inebriated. And, you know, some people, they don't hold their alcohol as well as others. You know, that could start problems. That could start a riot. Uh, Somebody could get hurt. Somebody could end up losing their life in some cases. But the cigarettes, I I don't see anything wrong. You know, inmates, you know, they're they're able to smoke. They're able to buy cigarettes. Some of them smuggle cigarettes all the time. Not to say that's right, but you're able to smoke cigarettes in jail, in prison. Now they're expensive as shit considering the amount of money they uh they make when you have a job when you're incarcerated. I don't see anything wrong with the cigarettes part, but the beer, hey man, what's one beer? All right, especially if you have to spend the rest of your life in that place. <clears throat> You know, they didn't arrest the cops that allowed Dylan Roof to, you know, go out and buy Burger King after he slaughtered people at a black church. You know, it wasn't cigarettes or beer, but still. A parking police officer was arrested on Monday after he was accused of allowing inmates to buy beer and cigarettes from a local gas station. Daryl Crowder, 49 years old, went to the Cross County Detention Center to take two inmates to court on Thursday, October 7th. Uh, Instead of taking them to jail, once court was over, Crowder took them to a residence of one of the inmates' family and allowed one of them to get money from a family member. I mean, before you're about to go to jail, especially. (laughs) All right. I I mean, I understand because that could be a high risk situation. Like you, you take them to their family's house and then their family ambushes you and they get away free. Yes, that could be a problem. All right, so I take that back. Afterward, he took the he took both inmates to the gas station and let one of them go inside to buy beer, cigarettes, and tobacco. Now, the cigarettes and tobacco part, I don't have an issue. The beer is an issue. Crowder allowed both inmates to drink and smoke in the car before he took them back to jail. The inmates went into the store in full jail uniform and handcuffs. Yeah. I could I could see where that's an issue. You should have just let them stay in the car and you go inside the gas station and purchase beer and cigarettes. But if you're in uniform, that could be of an issue. The Cross County Sheriff's Office completed the investigation, and arrested Crowder four days later. I mean, it's October. You could have just said, nah, nah, it's just Halloween. You know, there's a dress. Well, we're going to a Halloween party. You could have said something. <laughs> All right. So do you do you think he deserves to get arrested? You know, um, what's one beer before you go to jail? I mean, you're going to jail. What's one beer? Like cigarettes, tobacco, that's not an issue. Beer, I mean, if you're letting them get stupid drunk, that's one thing, but I don't really see the problem with somebody having a cigarette, having a beer before they go away. You know, depending on how how much time they're doing, they're doing four months. All right, you know, all right just wait. But if you got four years, all right, you know, <laughs> here's a beer, here's a cigarette. You know, the inmates look at him as somebody that, hey, you know, if he if he's trying to control the inmates, you know, that for the most part they're gonna listen to what he says. Now nah, he's cool. You know, he 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 looks out for us. Nah, listen to him. No fighting. This is that and the third because what's his name? Officer Officer Crowder. You know, if we're good, he'll get us cigarettes and beer at the end of the week. You know, but if we start problems, we're fighting, stabbing each other, you know, boofing stuff into the prison, then, you know, he, he's all that's cut off. All right. So what do you think? I think in my humble opinion, sure, the beer is wrong but the cigarettes and tobacco i don't see anything wrong with it like subscribe comment share this video i'm over the mount peace